Calm yourself, sir. I've completely incapacitated this demon. See? Kiss me, you fool. Oh, sorry. I'm so accustomed to mayhem that I often forget how shocking these sights can be to the layman. Bloody! Haley, eat your heart out. Uh-oh. I think the situation calls for a goal-oriented approach. Dr. Snyder? No! Nice catch, but this is soccer, Sydney. Don't you know there's a heavy penalty for use of hands? Oh, sure, drop the ball. The way you've treated me, Doctor, it's no wonder I'm on such a short fuse. Get down! He's going to... <laughs> that was the strangest demon I've ever encountered. Believe it or not, he used to be one of my patients. A real loose cannon, with an extremely active id persona just beneath the surface, struggling to break free. <laughs> Hey, Sid, did anyone ever tell you that you really put the anal in analyst? The id? That's the ed to you. Which is what you all's about to be, boy. Ye gods! Well, it looks like our work here is done, girls. I've got places to gut, people to slay. Any idea where he might be headed, Dr. Snyder? When I was treating him, he had a severe complex about three cities he felt represented the moral and spiritual decay of our civilization. Arcadia, Golden City, and Steel Harbor. My disabled car is just over this ridge. If we roll it back onto its wheels, we can use it to follow him. Yes, but to which destination? Steel Harbor! If this isn't the catch of the day, then I'll eat my headache. Whoa, steady there, old timer. Relax, I've already reached my legal limit. Photograph taken yesterday at Pier 12 is the best glimpse to date of the grim vigilante who calls himself Da Id. Witnesses report that he took on the entire gang of the mobster known as Mace Blitzkrieg single-handedly. Police are waiting by Blitzkrieg's bedside for a statement. Doctors predict that he will pull through. Meanwhile, Da Id is cutting a swath of destruction through the very heart of Steel Harbor. Hospital emergency rooms are jammed, and there aren't enough firemen to battle all the blazes. Millions of dollars worth of real estate have been destroyed, and thousands of families are homeless tonight in this continuous man-made disaster. Sure glad you're here, Avram. Looks like he's headed this way. Considering what he did to Blitzkrieg, it's a shame your old bouncer's not around. Old granddad, straight up. Yeah, remember the time old Motorhead took out Blitzkrieg? If he had gone off of that circus, this id jerk would be toast by now. There you go, pal. Thank you, my good man. It's certainly a pleasure to find a friendly establishment in this current climate of fear and mistrust. Why, the last three bars I patronized were so hostile to me that I was forced to burn them to the ground and put you to hell. Yeah. Was it something I said? Well, hello, babe. How about letting a lonely stranger buy you a drink? I'll pass. You see, I own this bar. My name is Barbed Wire, and I really hate to be called babe. Well, now I'm in love. Sorry, girls, but I won't be needing you anymore. My new chick has more firepower and twice the kick. The lady made it very clear she is not interested. You want to keep that hand sport? Here, it's all yours. Thank you. Hey, that's a good trick. Handy, you might say. Since we are joking, I must tell you that this demonstration will cost you an arm and a leg. Gee, I've never battled a Swiss Army knife before. Let me guess. Your bottle opener and corkscrew attachments were instrumental in landing you this position. Avram, get him out of here before he trashes the place. Actually, I have other qualifications that I'll be happy to show you. Outside! Sorry about the mess, Jeff. Hey, at least these two clean up their own body parts. Nice of you to give me a running start, Swiss old pal. I am called the machine. When I was human, I might have appreciated your sense of humor. But I very much doubt it. All set, ready when you are. Hey, what gives? I promise to reveal you some of my other talents. What do I look like, Egg McMahon? Yeah! I knew I shouldn't have given you your keister back, then it'd be your fat in fry pan! Surely you recognize that I am immune to the effects of electrical current! I absolutely refuse! Yeah! To talk to anyone! You! Who calls me? 1500 dollars $1,600, $1,650. Soldier, you just bought yourself a truckload of spurts. One for the road, okay? Mm.
You sure I'll have no problem selling those things? They should have called them hotcakes, because that's how fast they go. But some marketing whiz named them after the sound the cream filling makes when you squeeze them. <laughs> but you just squeezed one, and I didn't hear any... Good luck, Private! <coughs> I hope this pans out, Barney. I know I swore on your grave that I'd go straight, but I just traded my wheels and all the money I had for a truckload of pastries that probably don't even make the right noise. Incoming! Huh? <laughs> well... The sound was no problem, but it's sure going to be hard to hitchhike like this. I don't know about this plan of yours, Avery. It was brilliant to relocate the fight to this closed electronics warehouse where your powers would give you the edge. But you have moral qualms about the part you must play in the plan, correct? Listen, Barb. Thorny problems sometimes demand ugly solutions. Just close your eyes and it'll be over before you know it. Wait here and I'll call you when it's time. Hello? Are you afraid to come out and face me? No, I just thought it might be fun to play dig. Fine, but in that case, you're it. Oh, this modern technology sure can give a guy a headache. Just lie back and try to enjoy the experience. You are one sick dude, you know that? <sighs> hey, shoot! Get out of here, you job turkey! Nobody's tripping my caucus without a fight! <laughs> Toughest stringy still bird I ever tasted. Hey, that wasn't so tough, and it tasted just like chicken. And now, I'm gonna strangle you with your own wiring. You are cake eight bit egg beater. Uh, Barb? It's time, Barb. This one's mine, Abram. Oh yeah, he's all mine. Huh? But then, why did you attack me before? I was just playing hard to get, you big dreamboat. But what girl could resist your charms for long? Well, yeah, I guess. Oh, take me. Take me now! <laughs> I knew you'd come around, babe. This isn't gonna be as difficult as I thought. Is he ready yet, Abram? Oh, babe. Oh, babe! Give him another minute, Barb. Pull his legs a little farther apart. Let's go on a count of three, Barb. Forgive me if I don't watch. I guess there's still some man left in me after all. Just close your eyes, Abram. It'll be over before you know it. One, two, three... Say, isn't that... Yes, I better turn around. I have to be careful. My friend Riki will kill me if I wreck her car again. Lousy luck just missing him like this, huh? We'll catch him at the next stop. 